A southern Indiana business is changing the way bourbon is stored in Kentucky through a $44 million investment. WDRB's Joel Skipper shows us how it's helping small companies pour their way to success. The bourbon industry here in Kentucky is booming, especially here in Shelby County. Going on right now, seven new Rick houses are being built. Construction here on Vigo Road. Workers finishing the second of what will be a group of 30,000 square foot rickhouses. We wanted to be able to really showcase it, and so we wanted to build our own buildings. Bob Cutter is the CEO of Indiana-based The Cutter Group. He's teaming up with The Spirits Group to create a development called The Blending House. It's 108 acres that will showcase the company's K-Rax barrel storage system. This is the, how the connections go together, so we call it it's a dovetail connection. They say this modular system is a safer way to store bourbon barrels. Each one of these houses will store 20,000 barrels. We picked Shelbyville. We looked at a lot of property, Shelby, Henry, a lot of different counties, but we love this piece of property. Location was good. But it won't be the big bourbon companies who will use this space. It was created for smaller craft distilleries and private collections. The distilleries have built their facilities where they can distill more barrels, but then they're not keeping up with the barrel warehousing. There will also be a blending and bottling facility, one that will create about 20 jobs, a project Shelby County welcomes despite Kentucky rolling back its bourbon barrel tax. Well, certainly it's a concern whenever we lose the tax revenue, especially from the bourbon industry, which is growing immensely strong throughout the Commonwealth. I think Shelby County is doing a good job of, you know, some bourbon, which brings in the tax dollars, and then you've got some manufacturing and other, other industries that they're bringing in along with that. Another reason this area was chosen is because of the county's involvement with agriculture especially a key bourbon ingredient, corn. How do we find a balance but what the company needs, what the citizens need, and what adds to the quality of our life? Now, the entire project does not have a finished timeline as of now, but the blending and bottling facility is expected to be completed by September of next year. Reporting in Shelby County with photojournalist Jeff Gordon, Joel Skipper, WDRB News.